I'm so proud. I caught my eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, not a fingerprint on it. Nice. The only thing is, I live out in the middle of nowhere. No service. What do I do? What do I do? If you watched our last episode, you're all ready to bypass activation and trail break your iPhone. So now that you're running 1.11, just go ahead and slide for emergency and then dial star pound 301 pound. And it'll make the phone call itself. If it flashes, delete the all that, dial zero, and it'll call itself again. Answer the call, then tap hold. The phone will call itself again. Tap decline. Now you'll be returned to a normal dialer. This is great. Now you can add contacts. We're going to add two of them. The first one's going to be prefs followed by a colon. And the second one is going to be jailbreakme.com. Go ahead and save that. All right, now your contacts has two web pages in it. Tap on the first one, prefs. You want to go in and you want to connect to the Wi-Fi network that you're going to be using to run the jailbreak. You're also going to want to go into the general settings, go to auto lock, and set it to never. All right, now press the home button, slide for emergency, dial zero, answer the call, hold, and then decline. This will get you back to your contacts. Now, you can go to the contacts website, jailbreakme.com. Safari will launch, and you'll see a web page. Go ahead and read through it if you want to, um, and then it'll install the app snap. The phone will return to the activation screen. Just wait for a little while. It'll take a minute or so, and then your phone should restart. If it doesn't restart within two minutes, uh, then you get some problems, and you're going to have to check on the forms or on the tutorial. When the phone starts again, it should no longer say slide for emergency, but rather slide to unlock. This means that you were successful. Yay! The activation has now been bypassed and the phone is prepared uh, for software installation. So if you just want to continue using AT&T service, you're unlocked and you can install all kinds of fun apps and stuff. Now, if you're wanting to unlock your phone, that's the next step. We're going to go ahead and run SIM unlock. This is pretty straightforward. Go to the installer app, go to the sources, tap edit, and add. Add the URL i.unlock.no. Then tap done, and then refresh. Go to install, and at the bottom, scroll down to unlocking tools. You should now see any sim. After it installs, just go ahead and press the home button, and you'll find the any sim icon on your screen. Launch it and follow the instructions. Unlocking will take about, oh, five to 10 minutes. At the end, it should say it's successful. After any sim is done running, you can go ahead and swap out the sim card. Go ahead and put in whatever sim card that it is that you plan on using other than AT&T. Now you also want to go and install this patch in the unlocking tools for the edge network. There's a glitch in 1.1 right now and this takes care of that for you. Where you'd lose your settings if you were to restart the iPhone. After the patch is installed, you also want to go into the settings, general, network, and then edge. And this is where you're going to enter in the APN of your carrier. In Wyoming, it's union.wap. Then you are all set. You can go ahead and put your phone to lock whenever you want it to, and you can uninstall any SIM. Just do not upgrade to the newest firmware at this point in time, because they have yet to get it to work with the unlock. I left my iPhone. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. 